Hi everyone! This vlog is going to be a little bit different. I am taking you along on a photo shoot that I went to and then I'm going to be sharing some of my Lyra practice with you. I'm uh, still very new at it so please don't judge me. I'm still feeling like I'm very very much a beginner. This was a really fun photo shoot. Uh, we did some projector shots and it actually snowed, I don't know, like five or six inches while we were shooting so we ran outside and took some shots in the snow. They turned out really amazing and I have them up on my website. It is not safe for work and if you want to see it I can drop you a link. I didn't have a lot of nice days during the winter months to set up my pole, so it feels like I'm having to rebuild a lot of my strength and like my calluses on my hands all disappeared. Um, so I'm kind of starting slow. You know, it's going to take some time. My dogs are out playing. You might hear them barking here and there. They have a lot of fun. They kind of just spend all day outside on nice days, which is nice for them. They have a big backyard that they can play in and they love to play with me while I'm doing my aerial things. They'll get up on the platform and kind of just play around. I'm really not very good yet. I only have a few poses that I can do. Um, I'm definitely not very flexible right now. I have not been working on that and my strength also is not what it was. So it's going to take some time to be able to feel like I can flow um, and, and kind of move fluidly with it. It's also, it's so different from the aerial Lyra that I was on. It's not easy. Um, I've had people comment and say it looks so fun and easy. It is not. I have so many bruises. It's not fun. It will make you cry. You do build up a pain tolerance and you get used to it and you do, you kind of lose feeling <laughs> um, in like your thighs and you know the parts that you're grabbing on with.
This painting was inspired by a still that I found of a Studio Ghibli movie. It makes me really happy. I'm not using the wet on wet technique with this painting, so if that's something that intimidates you, you definitely don't have to use that method. It's just something that has made it easier for me. But honestly, with this painting, I didn't even notice a difference when I wasn't using it. I still mixed uh, some water into my paint to get it thinner and more transparent, but if you are intimidated by the wet on wet or you don't have an airbrush, you can absolutely do any of the things I'm painting really without that. And this is the finished product. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more like this, um, drop a comment below and let me know. I would love to share more of my aerial and my pole play with you on here. Mwah!